All right, so as you can see here, I have got the Twitch rewards from the Streamer Bowl that happened yesterday. Now, there was a lot of issues, and I really feel bad for people. I truly do, because two things happened. Number one, the stream, for whatever reason, couldn't be viewed by anyone with an Apple device. So if you had an iPhone or an iPad or anything like that, it wouldn't let you watch the stream and thus earn the rewards. How weird is that? Number two, and I tried to do a video on this as soon as I figured it out, but if you didn't redeem the rewards, you couldn't progress to the next one. So for example, this right here, the game ball, was the second reward that you got. If you were watching the stream and let's say you walked away and you just went AFK and left the stream on, once you got this reward, it would stay there until you physically clicked redeem. So if you never clicked redeem and you watched the stream for four hours, you would not get these other two items. You would not get the spray, you would not get the backplay. So you quite literally had to click claim on every single one as you earn them. And it never mentioned that as far as I was aware. So that kind of stunk because a lot of people just turned the stream on and they walked away. So that means they probably only got the very first emoticon, which I already got last night. So you don't see it on the screen here. Or some people realized it too late, and then by the time they clicked claim on the first one, there wasn't enough time left to get all the way to the back bling. So there was just a lot of issues, but here's the Beast Llama back bling. This is what most people wanted, because who really wants a spray or some emoticons? But I'm going to do a full gameplay and review on it. You can see it right here. It's holographic, and it kind of looks like a horse llama. Not necessarily a llama, but a horsey type llama. Pretty cool. So let's check this out in game, as well as the spray and the emoticons. All right, so here we go in the locker. You can see the Blitz spray is basically just a football player in his helmet with some FNCS-like lightning bolts around him. We've got the GG football. That's probably my favorite emoticon out of these two. And then the field goal upright one, if it plays, there it is. Nothing animated on either of these. It's always good to have a GG emoticon though and plus if you remember you can use these on a lot of items such as a back bling your holographic back bling that is so at least emoticons have a use whereas sprays eh, not so much you can just spray them on the map and that's about it now for the back bling here it is in the locker again it's called the beast llama it says this llama's got a bone to pick so it is holographic it's got that corrupted animation to it Kind of neat. But you really need someone with a broad canvas for a back, such as Kylo Ren here. So it displays amazingly on him. But watch when I swap to someone else. Let's just take a look at who else we can show it on. So it's not too bad there. Some people it looks horrific on. So even a character like this, it's just really hard to see. Because unless the back is just completely a solid color, it's really hard to see. That's not too bad. Some of them, it just doesn't look right at all. Now, obviously, on a purple one, it's even harder to see there. It just depends on what the back looks like on the person you're trying to run it on. But I guess that's how it is for all holographic items. Oh, see, that looks bad right there. Oh, yeah, that's too much color going on. Anyway, Kylo Ren is a perfect example. Oh, if you put it on someone with a cape, it looks really good. Let me show you the Mandalorian because his cape displays it perfectly. Look at that, you can really see it good there. I like that. But we're gonna go with Kylo Ren. So let's hop into a match real quick and take a look. So here it is in the dark. That actually looks pretty good. It's just an extremely bright color scheme for being purple. And you can see the head does move up and down. So that's kind of neat. It is a little animated. I thought it was just the corruption that was animated on it, but no, the head literally bobs up and down Almost like he's running. We have a guy landing here. Let's see if we can get a quick limb. My gun, buddy. You a bot? It is a bot. Okay, let's see if this is reactive. What? Jeez, bots are good. What? Wait, is this a bot? It is. Okay. So it didn't seem to do anything there. So it doesn't look that bad for being a holographic back bling. But like I said, it's just finding the right skin that'll display it properly. That's going to be the challenge. But it looks way better in the dark as opposed to in the light. Let's see if it does anything when we dance. If it didn't have that white illumination around it, I think it would be a little better. But it truly is 
bright, that bright white color. Let's try the spray real quick. By the way, I think you could do more than three now. It used to be that once you put more than three sprays down, one would disappear. Oh yeah, look at that. That sprays for days. That's cool. All right, let's try to get at least one more elimination real quick. There we go. Three people over there. Let's go join in on the festivities. Try me, bro. How do you like it, huh? You guys like that? Power of the gold SMG right there. It's for the loot, dude. So there you go. Those were the Twitch drop rewards for the streamer bowl. Nothing too fancy. If you missed out, don't worry about it. But you never know. These could come to the item shop eventually. I mean, not the spray or the emoticons, but this could. It never said it was exclusive to the Twitch drops. But again, it's nothing really that fancy. Nothing really that special. I don't see myself personally ever using this just because it's so hard to find a matching character for it. But if you are a collector, maybe, hopefully, it'll come back one day. So there you go. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. A like is always appreciated. And don't forget to use my supporter creator code, which is TaborTime.